This is Luke with another episode of Red Tech, and today we'll be discussing Red's interchangeable optical low pass filter system, or OLPF for short. Currently, Red offers a variety of unique optical low pass filters. In addition, third party companies such as Kipper Tie offer their own custom OLPFs, which offer various stylistic image properties at varying intensities. DSMC cameras with a Red Dragon sensor also feature an interchangeable OLPF system, though some early Dragon sensor cameras may have a fixed OLPF, which can be modified through Red directly. Let's take a closer look. First up is the standard OLPF. By default, this filter is included with all cameras in our current DSMC2 line, as it offers the perfect balance of light gathering and protective qualities for the majority of shooting environments you'll encounter on and offset. With optimal color, IR protection, and optical glare reduction in a wide variety of lighting conditions, the standard OLPF is an ideal solution when your shooting schedule demands that you're always ready to capture the perfect shot. Next, we have the Skin Tone Highlight Optical Low Pass Filter. This OLPF captures and preserves color quality in highlights, bright colors, and well-lit environments. If you're looking to maximize smooth highlight roll-off, the Skin Tone Highlight OLPF is your friend. Red also offers the Low Light Optimized Optical Low Pass Filter, which provides excellent color and tone reproduction in dim to dark environments. You're able to use this OLPF to capture and preserve color quality in midtones, darks, and shadows. Additionally, Red has developed the Underwater, or H2O, OLPF, which is optimized for shooting in underwater environments. Specifically, it's designed to overcome the challenges of shooting underwater at varying depth and light levels and produces the best colors in deeper water where lighting conditions can vary tremendously. To switch an OLPF, place your camera in a clean, dust-free environment, remove your lens mount, and unlock the current OLPF in your camera by turning the OLPF's locking mechanism one half turn counterclockwise. Then simply grip the camera and remove the suspended OLPF by pulling outward with your thumb and your index finger. Quickly insert the OLPF into your camera, being careful not to let any debris in during this step. Verify that each corner of the OLPF sits flush with the OLPF port opening, and with the OLPF secured, turn the screw to lock the OLPF in place. With the OLPF now secured, we'll go ahead and reattach our lens mount. And at this point, if we're shooting with a DSMC2 camera, our work is done, as these cameras auto-recognize which optical low-pass filter is attached. Now that we've covered the different OLPF options and how to quickly switch between them, I encourage you to get out, shoot, and test these filters for yourself. If you'd like to learn more, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more educational content. This is Luke with Red Tech, and we'll see you next time.